All right, so I just wanna walk you through the anatomy. It seems a little scary at first, but it's really not that bad. Like, just get kinda of used to the chicken. Okay, it, I don't know. You gotta get a little weird with the chicken, honestly. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna walk y'all through the chicken, right? So when you flip it this way, this is the breast of the chicken, right? There's two breasts. So this is piece one, that's piece two. Then we're gonna flip it back over. This is piece three, piece four. Oh, my mom's here. Hi, mommy. <laughs> okay, so the wings, piece one, uh, piece three, piece four. All right, and these are gonna be your last eight pieces, your leg, right? So right here, this is going to be, you know, your drumstick. This is the thigh. And if you could see how this kind of pops up right here, that little brown part, that's the oyster of the chicken. Chickens have two oysters. It's supposed to be a really good, rich part of the chicken. So that's, you know, the oyster of the chicken. I don't know, it's a thing. <laughs> but it's where you wanna cut around once we get into it. But I'm gonna show you guys, this is the fastest way to um, break down, well, this is the fastest way I've come to break down a chicken. All right, and again, you wanna get used to the anatomy of the chicken. Don't feel weird about it. And y'all, so you know, I washed this chicken ahead of time, it is clean. Um, and a few things, make sure you clean your surfaces, make sure your utensils are clean, make sure that your um, knife is completely sharp because we're really going to get into this whole chicken. It's crazy. It's not that crazy. <laughs> All right. So first we're going to do the legs. So when you get the legs, you actually, what I like to do is I actually like to pull the chicken. I know looks weird, sounds weird, but you see this little gap, the skin, we're actually going to cut into that a little bit and it's going to see how it just opened up and exposed a lot of the chicken, right? So from there, it's actually easy to see where the joints are in the chicken. So see, the fat lines are important in the chicken. And, cause, and the reason why the fat lines are important is because, um, oh, hey! <laughs> And the reason why the fat lines are important in chicken is because it's easier to cut through fat in the chicken versus meat. You know, fat is, you know, soft. Meat is hard. So that's the way you want to think about it. So we're just going to do that. And from there, we're just going to pop out the chicken bone. So this is kind of always a hard part for me. But see how I just pop that out? See the bone? That is the bone for the thigh of the chicken. I know this is kind of nasty, but it's very cheap <laughs> to do this. Again, this whole chicken was $5. So once you have the bone popped out, you can kind of just cut around the chicken. Actually, I'm going to do it the way I would normally do it. So yeah, easy. You got a whole chicken leg and a chicken thigh. So from here, what we're gonna do, actually you could pull the skin back a little bit. And this is what I'm talking about with these fat lines. Use the fat lines as your guide for what to cut because that's gonna be a lot easier to cut through and it's gonna be simple. You can kind of feel around for it. Uh-oh, there we go, boom. That's your chicken leg, easy, right? This is your chicken thigh. And your chicken leg and it's actually if you want to do boneless it's really easy to pop this bone out which you wouldn't think it would be that easy but so this is two out of the eight pieces we're about to do we're about to do this on the other side of the chicken as well so again we want to take this part of the chicken and we're just going to open that up and now we can kind of feel for that bone and pop it out let me get this, this angle. So I'm gonna cut the skin a little bit. And I did definitely sharpen my knife beforehand. So has anybody like butchered a chicken before on the live? Has anybody done this? Okay. So then we're just gonna, again, pop it out. See that bone? It's right there. We popped out that bone, out the joint. Butchering a chicken, butchering anything is all about the joints and popping them out. 
Let me just move this. All right. So yeah, now we have another one. Another leg and another thigh. Very easy. I'm not a butcher, but this is very easy to do. All right, and then again, we're gonna peel it back again, and again, these fat lines. That's what we wanna cut on. You wanna cut on fat, not meat. Meat is hard to cut through. And here we go. So now you have four out of your eight pieces. Really easy. It's really, really easy. So butchering a chicken, it seems inti intimidating, but it's not. And again, this is four out of the eight pieces we're about to cut off. And it's very easy. It's very easy. $5 for this whole thing. Very simple. All right, so same thing with this wing. So we have this much left of the chicken, right? So with this wing, you're gonna feel around for the joint of the wing, and that's where you wanna cut. And you're gonna wanna let gravity kind of take you there. Cut around it, and you always cut away from yourself, not towards yourself. So I started it, and I'm just gonna finish it right here. All right, a beautiful chicken wing. And what I like to do when I'm cooking chicken wings, I'll actually pop it in front of here and have it like that. It's a pretty little heart, but the reason why I do that, the real reason why I do that is so, this doesn't burn, so the tip doesn't burn. All right, so we got five out of our eight pieces. Again, we're gonna do the same thing here. Feel for that joint. Start cutting, start cutting, start cutting. Now we got it. You're just gonna kind of push down on it. Oof, I didn't get the right part of that. There we go. Second wing. And it's hard. All right. So now here comes the part that is kind of hard out of all of this. It is actually removing the rib cage from the breast. So again, these are the two breasts, right? So this is kind of hard. This is the rib cage of the chicken right here. So we're going to want to remove that. Uh, there's a couple ways you could do it. I'm going to use scissors, but again, just to separate this, we're going to cut on those fat lines again. Fat line, fat line. So, just going to cut on the fat line, and it just opens up. And I'm just going to cut it down here. Cut on the fat line on the other side. And make sure before you start getting into it with the chicken, make sure that you have like kind of rinsed it and dried it. I already did that, but yeah. I just wanna cut that piece off. This is my least favorite part. All right. So just gonna, I'm actually, hmm, I could use kitchen shears here, but sometimes you can just use like brute strength to just separate them. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use my kitchen shears. <laughs> it's a lot easier. And this, you can actually use for chicken stock so you don't have to buy it. I am definitely gonna use this for chicken stock. You don't want to waste any part of the chicken. So I am 100% using this in a chicken stock. So to make a chicken stock, you just put this in water with seasonings and just let it boil. And you're just trying to extract all the flavor you can out of the bones of the chicken. So you don't have to buy it. And this is better than store-bought because store-bought has all those preservatives in it. It um, not only does it have preservatives, but all of that salt, and you you know, you want to stay away from the salt. So it's better to make your own chicken stock. So I might do a little, I might put it on my story how I do that. 
This is my least favorite part. Once you hear that snap, you're good. So that is the backbone of the chicken. This is what I'm gonna use for a stock. Um, and also with the chicken stock, so make sure that you are doing it, um, like if you're making a chicken stock, make sure you use it within, I'd say two, three days of making it. If you're not gonna use it within that time span, just make sure that you freeze it. All right, but this is your chicken thigh. Let me move this over so you can actually see. These aren't the thighs, these are, these are the breasts. So two more breasts. And you can actually cut the breasts in half and you can make a 10 piece if you want. But I'm not gonna do that today. So how we're gonna do this is the breast actually has a breast bone in the back, right? So it's ideal if you actually break this first from the back end, like you're kind of pre-cutting it. And then I'm gonna actually kind of press down on it to break it more and then i'm gonna you know actually cut through it it just this breastbone is so i don't know so thick for me anyway so i i like to kind of pre-cut it and then break it down so that's what i'm just gonna do it's a little slip through see hear how how hard that is i mean it's it's a lot of bone so i do that and again, make sure your skin is even. If you if you want to keep the skin on, I do want to keep the skin on. All right, and we're just gonna kind of press on it. And you should hear a pop, it's a bone. You should hear a pop. And then you can kind of feel it, okay. And I kind of pulled it apart with my hands. Perfect. So that breastbone is not split. And again, move your skin around, and then we're just gonna cut through. So, that's why it's important to have a really sharp knife. And it's actually easier to do this without the skin on, but I like the skin. This is not pretty, but I just wanted to show you guys very quickly, like you can buy a whole chicken and break it down in a very short amount of time. And this was $10. So again, you have chicken stock from your backbone. You have two breasts, two thick breasts. These are really good. Like if you fry these up, these are gonna be good. And you can actually cut them in half to separate the white meat from the dark meat if you want to do that too. You have two really nice wings. You have two really nice breasts. You can really, I mean, breasts, these are thighs. And you can just kind of pop out that, that um, leg if you want to. And then you have two great drumsticks as well. So I am gonna marinate these. I think I'm gonna make some jerk chicken. I might fry it, I might fry it. I got some grease on the, the pan. So I think I might fry this chicken. What do y'all think I should do? Tell me, what do you think I should do with the chicken? Should I bake it? Fry it, I can air fry it, that would be good. I air fry chicken a lot. I don't really put in the real fryer a lot, but I will air fry it. But yeah, so that was it. That's how you break down a chicken. And I'll, I'll make it look pretty for a picture and everything, but that's how you do it. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's really easy to do this, y'all. It's, it's actually, a lot easier than what it looks. If you do it one time, you'll feel really confident the other times. You just gotta think about the anatomy of the chicken and it makes you appreciate butchers a lot more. I didn't realize butchers had to do all this. <laughs> and then, yummy, Oh, thank you. And yeah, I didn't realize butchers had to do all this, but they do and shout out to them. But that's why, you know, it's more expensive to get the whole chicken. That's why it's more expensive to get the whole chicken because, you know, they're putting labor in and, and working. So, got to pay them for their work. But, yeah, that's the whole chicken kind of spelt out. 
this is and if you ever look in the store you might kind of i look at chickens differently now when i go in the store and get it in the carton now i look at it like wow the breast the length like the whole real chicken i was kind of disassociated from what a chicken really is in a way but yeah i'm gonna make a nice stock with this 